Hi guys, it's Striper, when we were kings, track by track, reaction. So next on the list, we've got Unforgivable, which is track two. Um, End of Days is track one. This is track two. Um, can't wait to hear it. And so, I mean, we're at the end of July here. Uh, the album's not out till September. So that is exciting in itself. The, I'm listening to it so early. Always grateful to Striper and other bands for sending me stuff and trusting me with it so early. So... Unforgivable is the next track. Track two, um, loved what we've heard so far. So we've obviously had End of Days. Um, and then we had Love Symphony and Grateful, both released on the same day. So three tracks so far. This is the fourth one I've heard, but track two, the actual list of songs. Here we go. This is Unforgivable. Oh, it's just the guitar sound as well, man. I mean, I know it's a, a it's a fact that could Striper, it's not opinion, <laughs> it's fact that Striper have got one of the best and most recognisable guitar tones ever. And it's on songs like this, you can really heal the... the, the there's just the tone is so gorgeous, man. I mean, in those, in those verses, da, 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 there's bands that would kill for a guitar sound like that. It's just amazing. And this has sort of got that same sort of rhythm throughout this song, that sort of, da, da, sort of stop, start sort of uh, rhythm. And then it gets to that chorus and then it's just soaring. It's just catchy so catchy man and that's just what they do time after time you think about michael the way he writes songs as well sometimes like a, a song a day isn't it or even more sometimes he sets himself a couple of weeks to write the album you just think man it, it's like a writing machine and he can just come out up with this sort of stuff i love that um I love the bridge to the chorus. It almost gives me a feel um, 
a little bit like the bridge um, from Do Unto Others. It's almost uh, got that sort of feel to me. It's got a slight resemblance to that. Um, uh, but man, the, the song is just gorgeous, man. Um, and it's quite, I like it because you've got, yeah, the end of days, the frenetic end of days for the beginning. And then you get this sort of medium paced, crunchy song, man. It's very crunchy. And that's what I was trying to think of earlier on with the, you know, the, the guitar sound and the, the tone. This one's really crunchy. You can hear every little squeal and every little crunch of the riff. Amazing stuff, man. But ultimately, really, really catchy, man. Just amazing stuff. Here we go for the rest, guys. talk about the guitar solo <laughs> i love the i mean you know you've always been able to tell when they both do a solo oz and michael but man you can really they've done something with this album to make it even more you know where you can tell i mean that that the first part was almost it's almost got this raw edge to it and i think they've they've mentioned like this is a great mix of like 80s striper and modern striper i totally agree with that it's almost like i think that might have been oz on the first guitar solo there and it almost had that feel you know the feel in surrender which is one of my favorite striper songs um and solos uh that that's real got a raw sound and almost like really loud and it almost kicks in and you're like here comes the solo turn it up and um it almost had that, it has that feel of the soldiers under command Oz Fox tone there. I'm probably completely wrong and that was Michael, but I'm sure it was Michael on the second part. I can, I can almost tell, which I can't usually do that with bands, but I can almost tell who's who, but um, hopefully I'm right. But man, what a, what a solo that was. The song was amazing. Catchy as, as always. It's always, one thing you can say, no matter how heavy, or you know slow or melodic or medium pace they get everything is catchy it's always what you get with striper man and they've got that sound their own sound as well it's amazing that was unforgivable the second track on the track listing of the album and the fourth track i've heard at this stage <laughs> amazing stuff let me know what you think of it in the comments below though guys and i'll see you soon